life is a mess and you're totally stressed out just call trend just call trend when your wife is cold as ice and you need some advice just call trend just call trend he'll shoot it straight and he won't say no He'll just give you that advice and say, well, there you go. Ah, hello, welcome to another episode of There You Go with Trent Mabry. I, of course, am your host, Trent Mabry. Today, my guest is Dan Alton, very funny yeah. comedian out of, out of Louisville. Louisville, Kentucky. Yeah. The locals pronounce it Louisville. And then <laughs> Yeah, have you ever heard the joke? Hey, what, hey, what's the capital of? How do you say the capital of Kentucky? Louisville uh, or Louisville? It's and then it's it's Frankfurt. Yeah, you bastard! <laughs> I used to fall. Who for told that you one. about Frankfurt? <laughs> My no dad. I used to, to know follow about that. <laughs> I used to fall for that one all the time. Yeah, it's a good it's a good gag and it's educational. It sure is. Not now, enough bullying's educational. <laughs> absolutely i'll never uh forget that the capital of kentucky is frankfurt that's the only state yeah. capital i know and i live in indiana you live in one of the easiest capitals to know and what is you, that indianapolis oh you just <laughs> add some letters to the already existing <laughs> yeah. yeah i live in Min- Min- minnesotaopolis <laughs> that's the capital of minnesota that's what is the capital of minnesota is not Minneapolis? Maybe it's Minneapolis. I wonder if it's Rochester. Because mm. that's a word I've heard Jesse Ventura say is Rochester. <laughs> that's like an easy way. At this point, because famous people are from everywhere, yeah. you kind of just figure it out. Like, <laughs> oh, people in Austin? I think that's Matthew McConaughey's voice. <laughs> people in Fargo? Well, that's easy. There's a movie. Yeah, there's that a whole one. movie and a TV show. Yeah. Boston, I've heard Ben Affleck in a drunken rant. <laughs> ben, I just saw Ben Affleck got dumped. That was Whoa, tw- by that. Uh, yeah. There's that a- means that girl's single. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a chance to date the girl from Knives Out. <laughs> by the way, I, I watched Knives Out like during the beginning of uh, the quarantine because I uh, the trailer, I thought, made it look stupid. Yeah. But I watch it. That's a great movie. Yeah, I didn't. So I, I don't like don't watch movies usually. And mm. then the quarantine happened and it was like, well, I guess I, I'll watch movies. So I just watched like everything. And Knives Out was I was like, this is this is the greatest movie of all time. Surely it won every Oscar. <laughs> and then I looked online and it's like mixed reviews. And then I was like, now I understand why the world's in chaos. Yeah, I, yeah, totally. I watched yeah. I watched that and I watched The Sopranos. Oh, that was a thing I was in thinking about doing. You haven't How seen is it? How the Sopranos? No, I've never watched it. That's all right. No, it's great. <laughs> is that your impression of the, someone from the Sopranos talking about the Sopranos? I, w- I wish. Uh, hey, it's hey, okay. uh, it's all right. Uh, um, no, it's great. I loved it. Yeah, I prefer the Bada Bing Bang Theory. <laughs> <laughs> it's a show within a show in the Sopranos universe. Well, you know what I say to that? what bazinga oh my goodness (laughs) i didn't so i didn't know that that show like i didn't know anything about that show and then like eight years ago i was working at a restaurant and this kid would come in all the time wearing a shirt that said bazinga yeah and then i was always just really high and i was like that is a cool shirt man and then and i said it for like a year i think he'd probably just wear it It it's like some like 13 year old kid yeah he's like man that guy with the mustache thinks i'm cool (laughs) And then one day I like learned that that's where it came from. And then the next day that kid came in and he wore the shirt and I like couldn't bring myself to compliment him on it. <laughs> and I feel like I destroyed that kid's spirit. Oh no. He's like, man, my, uh, ah, this Bazinga shirt's been working for so long. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Well, I, hopefully I, wore maybe... this, I wore this for you. Oh, thank you. It, it, from the Hoosiers, Indiana Hoosiers. Yeah. From the movie Hoosiers. <laughs> An original prof. <laughs> you know, my uh, gym teacher in uh, in middle school was uh, played a referee in Hoosiers. Really? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. 
So you're so you're already in at Hollywood. Uh, yeah, I'm the. Yeah, it's the Hollywood of the mid the Midwest. Yeah, we know a guy in Hoosiers and someone who has helped film Christmas Story. Or... <laughs> I'm, I'm in, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't need to move. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm already famous. Stars are moving here. Meg Ryan moved here. Yeah, she did. Oh, no, yeah. you went away. Oh, there you are. I think, I think I'm back. Whoa, oh. now I went away. Now I'm back. There we go. Thank God. Oh. What is go? Okay. <laughs> That's Meg move. Ryan calling you. <laughs> yeah. She's like, Dan, stop doxing me. <laughs> She says that because I drive up to her house on Lake Monroe and I mm-hmm. throw things on her dock. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, you sign this copy of uh, Sleeveless in Seattle for me? Yeah. And then she's like, not on my docks, Dan. No <laughs> in the water is fine, but not on the docks. I, you know, I, I, go, I go to her house and deliver her. I'm a mail carrier. Oh, and every, okay. time I, every time That's I... That's a wide route. <laughs> They have you going that far south? Yeah, yeah. I, I've been trying to get a better route, but no wonder that they, Trump really did cut down on the postal <laughs> service. Yeah, the, it's just me and one other guy. We cover the entire state. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I go by her house, and every time I pass by and get, open up her post box or her box or mailbox, I say, "Hey, you've got mail." There you go. Hey, she was in that one too, wasn't she? She was. Yeah. <laughs> she was in what are other Meg Ryan's classic films? Um, she almost played George's wife in the Seinfeld episode within Curb Your Enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I that's, probably, meet, <laughs> that's probably yeah. her third most. <laughs> yeah. I always want to meet celebrities and, and know them just for those reasons. <laughs> <laughs> From Curb Your Enthusiasm yeah. episode? Yeah, just from Kurt. Hey, Crispin Glover, you're that guy who almost kicked David Letterman in the head. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be so happy. Hey, well, yeah. Uh, are you ludicrous from the Justin Bieber song, Baby? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, a lot of people probably do know him from that song at this point. Yeah, I know him from uh, Fred Claus. <laughs> <laughs> Is he in that movie? Yeah. He played an elf. Oh my god. I'm surprised he did that. He's gotten on the short side. <laughs> that that shows a lot of like, you know what I mean? Sell good self-esteem. Good job, Ludacris. Yeah. Good job. Christopher Bridges. That yeah. Climbing that, the bridge to our heart. That is his name, Christopher Bridges. What about Curtis Jackson? 50 Cent? You got it. Of course, one of the one of the one of the best. His man, the Get Rich or Die Trying, the, the album, that'll give you too much confidence. They should, yeah, they I, should keep that album locked up. <laughs> <laughs> like that, that like that Wu Tang Clan album. Yeah, it's exactly. They should switch those. <laughs> they should give Martin Shrelly. Maybe don't give it to Martin Shrelly. He'll get too powerful. <laughs> he would. He, he would. <laughs> he'll listen to Get Rich or Die Trying every day, and then next thing you know, he'll be taking over the world. Yeah, he'll bust out of jail. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for doing it, Dan. Have you ever listened to the podcast before? Do you know what you're doing? I, I've seen some clips on YouTube. We're going to help some some lost soul. In, yeah, we're going to give advice. Trouble. People email yeah. me at advicefromtrent at gmail.com. That's advice from Trent. Advice from Trent at, at gmail.com. gmail.com. Yeah. So what we do is we, re- we read the email, and then we give our advice. All right, pretty self-explanatory. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> so you ready, Dan? Oh, I'm ready. I'm locked and loaded. All right, here we go. Starts off, the title is Complaint. All right? That's not a good way to start. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trent, so there's this. Are you sure it's not compliant? <laughs> And they're like, this next email will uh, go along with the format that you asked for. <laughs> no, I think it's complaint, unless he mis- <laughs> okay. unless his spell check is messed up. Trent, so there's this guy with speakers. And I get it. He bought speakers, and he's going to use them whenever he can between rounds at the gym. I totally get it, and I would too. 
but maybe not playing Creed at max volume when you're walking between third and fourth street up to his ear. Like he wants everyone to know that even though it's not nighttime, the party is still going on at 2 p.m. in San Jose. Whoa. Get a life, you creep. (laughs) I need your help, Trent. He is always outside my apartment playing Creed. It always ruins my day. What should I do? He's definitely stronger than me. P.S. Love the podcast. Three stars. Wow. Ties you. What, are, what, <laughs> what, 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 like, what word does he use when he gives things five stars? Exactly. Yeah. Signed regards. <laughs> Stop it already. His so name that, is Stop It Already? That's how he signed the email. Stop it already. And stop is spelled S T A H P. So maybe his spell chick is his mess. I was about to say that gives me that makes me think the compliant thing. Yeah. <laughs> no, maybe it's he's trying to do a pun where it's like Scott Stapp. Oh. But is it is it isn't it is it Scott Staff? Or I thought it was Scott Stapp. Where's this H coming from? <laughs> yeah, because I think it's S T A P P is how he spells. That's yeah, how you that. can tell that they aren't a like real Christian band is because if they were a real Christian band, it would be Scott Staff, and he would because <laughs> he's like a shepherd of men. <laughs> like 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 we are, we are the sheep. Yeah, not I, me. Is, I'm is, a goat. <laughs> <laughs> Well, some I think Scott Sapp is the goat. Yeah. But, uh, is is Creed a Christian man? They were one of those bands where it was always on like the like they were like we're Christians, mm-hmm. but our music is for everybody, <laughs> and we just sing about our lives, which is a Christianity. <laughs> so they're so, like like Switchfoot. Yeah, it'd be like if Taylor Swift's like I don't write songs about relationships; I write songs about my life. <laughs> which are like it'd be like the same thing yeah yeah, yeah switchfoot switchfoot is the creed for i feel like the little bit of age gap we have <laughs> yeah uh, i think I'm, you're right <laughs> i'm the youngest person from the creed generation and you're an older switchfoot guy <laughs> you're right you're right That's... and then before that you had five iron frenzy the ska christian oh i don't even know that one <laughs> you gotta love a golf themed ska band for christians <laughs> oh boy how old are you, Dan? If you don't mind me I'm, asking, I'm 30 years old. Okay, I'm How 25. Old are you? From 25, okay. about to turn 26 in two weeks. Congratulations! Thank you. What are you? What's the? What's in two weeks? Are you an Aquarius? I am Aquarius. Okay, I don't really know anything about <laughs> any of them either. But what are you? I'm a Gemini. Ah, uh, Gemini man. Will Smith movie. <laughs> Definitely one of the best. There's two Will Smiths. It's, yeah, I never saw it, but they're doing the Freaky Friday thing. <laughs> yeah, or not Freaky Friday. What's a movie where there's two people doing the uh, same purse? Like, uh, Parent Trap. Parent Trap, or any of those movies where Ashley Olsen did all that work. And Mary Kate phoned it in. Who? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great to find out they just traded movies. <laughs> you do a movie, I'll do a movie. It's exhausting on the crew, but they're having a blast. <laughs> so anyway, I'm not even sure I understand what... Yeah, we what, gotta help this guy. Yeah. This guy, Some apparently some guy g- goes to his gym and he... My blasts. advice would be just off the bat, when people bring up, if someone has an issue with listening to Creed, focus on the guitar playing. It's quite inventive. Is it really? Uh, that guy, Mark Tremonti. I don't know why I know his name. <laughs> Mark, yeah. Tr- Mark Tremonti. He, I, my freshman year roommate in college was like a, a guitar Christian nerd kid. Mm-hmm. Like one of those Christian metal kids. And he would always be like, the guitar player from Creed's great, man. He's great. So then I listened to it one time and I was like, he is a very good guitar player. And you play it. See, I'm not a, I'm no, uh, I don't know the technical. Oh yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't play nineties rock a lot. On the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, 
<laughs> I don't have a lot of three days grace tabs open. <laughs> yeah. On the browser. yeah. <laughs> but, you don't know uh, kryptonite? <laughs> I don't. I should learn kryptonite. <laughs> That's probably not that hard. <laughs> it's good to know like a few, like it's good to know sex and candy in oh, case yeah. you're ever like, too confident at a bar that has a cover band and you're like hey can i, can I get up there <laughs> <laughs> you guys know uh under a, the bridge <laughs> um <coughs> so well let me hear you, you let, let's see our creed impressions you do a creed impression what's one of their song uh with with arms wide open i, I think with arms know. wide open you want to hear my Creed impression? Yeah. Hey, I'm going to go fight Rocky. This <laughs> <laughs> old switcheroo. That's a good Creed. Thanks. I got another good Creed for you. <laughs> All right. Early to bed and uh, early to rise. <laughs> Wait, I think Creeds are supposed to be religious. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, <laughs> that's my religion. <laughs> The Bible should have had that. Jesus should have thrown in just more practical stuff. Yeah. Like stuff about like saving money. And like... <laughs> a penny saved is a penny earned. <laughs> yeah. Also, remember everyone, uh, eight hours of sleep and water. Stay hydrated. <laughs> I, was thinking, I was thinking about this. Do you think, remember that whole washing the feet thing? People would wash each other's feet? Yeah. Do you think that it was it was a good move back then? Because you kind of tickle your buddy or whatever, and then so like you're going into it, it's a strange situation. Like oh, I'm meeting my girlfriend's parents, and then the first thing right off the bat, you and your potential father-in-law are tickling each other's feet. <laughs> <laughs> That's like such a good icebreaker. It is. It's it makes hey then yeah. just having a normal conversation yeah be much now less we awkward. Got, like shoes and socks so your feet are clean but we've lost the camaraderie <laughs> and i think even though i don't think we should get rid of shoes and socks i think we should add tickling feet when you first enter someone's home i like that yeah i'm, yeah. I'm, I'm on board yeah i like uh see i don't but i don't really when i now that i think about it i'm not a big fan of being tickled me neither, but then you, that's a thing they get to know. <laughs> You're right. Trent, You're... I've known you for like five years. I just now found out you don't like to be tickled. <laughs> if we would have lived in olden days, we'd be set. Now, do you think it's because we're, because I remember when I was young, tickling used to be huge. Everybody, ah, <laughs> it, was, it was all over, <laughs> but do you it think, was all do over you, the TV. Do you think that's the because... magazines? <laughs> Do you think that's because we got older? Is tickling a, a young thing that people still do? Or do you think it's... I don't done? know. Google Google children tickling 2020. <laughs> I think I'm all right. But I, I, I saw this documentary on HBO a couple of years oh, ago. Yeah. Incredible. T tell the folks at home. <laughs> so there's this website... It's been a while, so I hope I, hope I don't get the, all, any of the details wrong, but there's a website, right? And There are websites. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're on one right now, zoom.com. Zoom.com. Uh, Zoom.comedy. Uh, Zoom <laughs> hey, it is today. But uh, th this guy would reach out to people and like... Literally. Yeah, <laughs> he would do this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nobody would reach out and ask people. If that's what I read. Would... That's what the Wiggles do, so that, that no everyone knows they aren't touching kids. What? Whenever the Wiggle, whenever the, the, the you know the children's group, the Wiggles. Yeah, yeah. Whenever they're like doing group photos with like children or whatever, mm -hmm. they always like do this towards the camera, oh, and that's they're like, smart. yeah, that way, like our hands are always front and center. No one can like Photoshop anything. No one can like. Yeah, that's smart. Yeah, which that's so smart that it's like. We should probably keep a close eye on it. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's a little bit too proactive. We don't want any photo evidence. <laughs> yeah. No, but there's a website where he reaches out to people. I think it's like athletic dudes. And he's like, I run athletic tickling contests. Yeah. Where it's like, it's endurance so that you won't like react, I guess. 
what's the breaking point for tickling? <laughs> does squirming count or does it have to be an audible like? <laughs> I think it's being your pants. Oh. <laughs> As a kid, I would always just go, I can't breathe. I'm serious, guys. I can't breathe. Oh, yeah? In my hindsight, I should have just peed my pants. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you should have. That would have been less yeah. embarrassing. Uh, yeah, I think faking asthma is pretty embarrassing. <laughs> this guy has asthma. What a loser. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would you ever it... pee your pants getting tickled? I have, yeah. Hell yeah. And I'm, Yeah. <laughs> It's not enough time has passed that I can I can finally admit it. Oh yeah, you got you got to just come clean with that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Cuz now we're older, we're right. famous comedians, we have security. If anyone tickles us, Big J throws them out. I hired Big J over <laughs> Oh really? <laughs> I like how that's my out of all the names that I I riff to follow the word big, I picked the one that is a person. Big J. Yeah, you hired another comedian. To be yeah, security guard. I'm huge, man. I'm really <laughs> wow. famous. That's how I got all the money to hire Big J. Is I'm so huge, Big J is like, you should be my bouncer. <laughs> Big, you should be huge, Dan. <laughs> Big huge, Dan. Big huge, yeah. Dan. <laughs> so maybe this is what this guy should do. That is being bothered by this guy playing Creed. He should hire Big J to hire break, Big it, break his boom box. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be great with Big J because he could quell the situation with comedy. And he's then, like, <laughs> he can do he's like, he's he's punching you and also like roasting somebody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, man. I like that this person who needs help, they're like, it, this situation's at the gym, right? That's what they said. Well, here, this is, it's kind of a confusing email. So or, starts, the, or the person lifting is coming. The Creed fan is coming to and from the gym. They're, I think, here's how I took it. They're both at the gym, working out, lifting weights, maybe doing some uh, running on Drinking the Drinking a protein shake? Yeah. <laughs> Depends uh, how fancy the gym is, you know. Just uh, there to take a shower like me when I used to live out of my car? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just taking a shower and refilling my water bottle. <laughs> I'm not pumping iron is not for me. Yeah. Uh, I, I pay know. eight. I pay eight bucks a month so I can shower all over this great nation. <laughs> no, no, I do push-ups behind my car. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, I think they're both at the gym. And this guy is listening to music. He's listening to Creed at maximum volume on this on the on the boombox he has at the gym. But then it says later in the email, he's also always outside my apartment. <laughs> Playing Creed and it ruins. We shouldn't day. laugh at someone being stalked. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> This guy's got more problems than some guy playing <laughs> loud music. Did he He's mean being to followed. contact the San Jose police? Yeah. <laughs> he just said the Creed thing so they could identify the guy. <laughs> Maybe listening to Alter Bridge. <laughs> Alter Bridge? Now, why do I know that name? I think Alter Bridge is Creed without Scott Staff. Or it's just another shitty band. <laughs> Alter break. I didn't they don't they do like you know you watch wrestling, don't you? Oh they yeah, they probably do wrestling songs. That's probably why I know them. I think they do Edge's theme. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. <laughs> He's a legend. <laughs> he is. <laughs> now Alter Bridge, man. Oh, that would be great to do a wrestling theme. You don't get paid a lot. And I know that because I know people who have done wrestling themes. Oh, yeah. And I've seen photos of their couches where they watch the pay-per-views from. <laughs> and it is. <laughs> well, yeah, isn't that just all music now? Yeah, I think you're right. That is probably what it is. Although wrestling's weird because you'll get like, it'll be like some band that they're clearly paying like no money to. And then the next person will be like Poppy, who's like a famous like person. <laughs> And then it'll just be another band no one's heard of. And then it's like Metallica's playing. Yeah. 
it's like the, the, the flow is crazy <laughs> like we could probably record a song now and they would like use it on nxt and then I'm... like the, they'd be like ladies and gentlemen paul mccartney <laughs> <laughs> and he comes out to do something <laughs> <laughs> yeah paul mccartney it's it's just party over there here to introduce the Velveteen Dream, R. <laughs> Kelly. And then oh, All right. Hey. Bad, bad boys, both of them. <laughs> Allegedly. Well, one is alleged. The other one, I think, is pretty. Oh, that's true. No, one is, uh, yeah, Velveteen Dream is guilty of beating up Tommaso. Ch- no, I know. But, uh, <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> No, I didn't like R. Kelly before it was cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I never cared for I Believe I Can Fly. Yeah, no, I thought I always thought I was like that. Uh, that guy's a bad guy. <laughs> One time I was at a bar, I was at a bar and uh, we all booed this dude. This is crazy. It was in Kansas City, Kansas, and the bar is like closing and everyone had been like dancing. Mm-hmm. There's one of those situations where it's a small bar, but all like 50 people in the bar are dancing. And then the DJ's like, all right, it's last call. I'm playing one more song, everybody. And then like he starts playing a like beat that like we sort of recognize. And then he's like doing the intro thing. And he's like, I know that like he was guilty and everybody hates him, but we can dance to it one last time. Oh, everybody. my God. And then he turns his remix to Ignition. And then everyone in the bar just goes, no. <laughs> and then... <laughs> And then the DJ goes, fine. And then he just turns off the radio. Like, they're not the radio, the, the speaker. <laughs> just a shitty DJ. And then DJ. that was just the end of the night. <laughs> wow. There's a DJ acknowledging that R. Kelly is guilty. <laughs> and then being mad that all of the patrons of the bar weren't <laughs> down with it. He's like, yeah, you gotta, hey, I thought we separate the art from the artist. Yeah, he's like, also, I, I, I only pack the exact number of minutes I need. So if you guys don't want that song, I don't have another <laughs> option. Also, I delete my previously played songs off my computer after I play them. So I can't even replay an earlier song. I, there's nothing I can do, folks. Here's what I would have done <laughs> if I was that DJ. All right. Gone. Just but, kidding. <laughs> <laughs> now they start booing the remix to Ignition. I would just play Ignition. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. No one <laughs> that would be a great. That would be very funny if you if that was the DJ's response. <laughs> I get it. No one likes remixes. <laughs> Classics only. <laughs> That, no, guy, that they, guy, the the DJ needs to email me. I'd give him some advice. Yeah, that is true. It, at least it's Creed, which is like, because there's all those bands that everyone hates. Like everyone hates Nickelback and everyone hates yeah. Creed, and like, uh, but like they haven't done, to my knowledge at least, there's no like bad things associated with those bands in terms. Uh, yeah, of like, I don't. I don't think so. There is a thing where Scott Stapp got too drunk at a concert once, and then a bunch of Creed fans sued. Uh, Creed <laughs> because they were like yeah the concert like wasn't worth the money it like wasn't like it didn't provide the services yeah. that we paid for and they like won I think they won like the, wow. the thing. I, uh, they, they, those sound like fair weather fans to me imagine imagine you're like at, in court you're like no I'm not I, I like the band I love Creed I hope this is a wake up call to my favorite <laughs> artist. Scott's dad. I saw this. Um uh there was a there's a show called like Sounds of Music or something. It's about like <laughs> <laughs> not I don't think that's the name of it, but it's a, a they animate stories. About... What a dumb title. <laughs> that, that movie's like a classic movie. <laughs> Sound of music. <laughs> the look of art. <laughs> but anyway, but there is uh they animate like st- stories about musicians and stuff. Oh, and cool. there is one um where like Scott Stapp was so drunk or maybe he fell off his hotel balcony <laughs> onto a- 
<laughs> onto another balcony below. And the rapper T.I. saw this and rescued him. Oh, whoa. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. How did he rescue him? He had already fallen. <laughs> Well, I think he was gonna die. He was gonna bleed. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, apparently, it's true. See, I probably went and he was like, "Shit, we need to open this door." Yeah, that was how see, I got one of his gun charges. Was he pulled out a gun and shot the lock? The <laughs> and then he was like, "Damn, I'm not supposed to have it." <laughs> but I gotta save the lead singer of Creed. <laughs> yeah, I gotta save him, man. <laughs> he and I, we're gonna bring rap rock back. The world wants rap rock again. <laughs> yeah, they're going to be the new uh, Nelly now and that, Tim McGraw. Yeah. Now that Lil Peep's dead, we can finally, <laughs> we can finally slide in there in the rap rock <laughs> world. <laughs> but so this guy is, this guy, this guy's being stalked, really. Yeah, that's <laughs> That'd be great. You call the cops and you're like, you're like, yeah, this person keeps following me. It's been days now. They're like, so it's a stalking issue. No, they keep parking in my space. (laughs) (laughs) I would like to get the parking authority involved. (laughs) Ticket this man. (laughs) He just needs to be taught a lesson. (laughs) Yeah. I don't want anything bad to happen to him. Someone's been taking photos of me outside my window. I'm worried they're going to use them for commercial purposes without my <laughs> approval. And I might not like the artistic direction or the products being sold. Yeah, I don't want to be a, sp- a spokesman yeah. for Snapple. Yeah. <laughs> so what would you no. what would you do, Dan, if this guy, if there's a guy <laughs> outside your house with a with a boombox <laughs> like John Cusack? He's playing yeah. Creed all the time. It's a guy you know is from his gym <laughs> doing a, a say anything to him <laughs> with Creed. It's like a meme. <laughs> I don't know what I would probably I'd probably call Creed and be like, you get to play San Jose. <laughs> you're you're popular here. Yeah, you, you could probably Maybe not sell out, but three... It, wherever the Sharks play, certainly would have you do a halftime thing. Yeah. A third time or whatever they do in hockey. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's three periods. Yeah. Man. I don't know. what I think the issue... I feel like it's a lot of... The stalking thing is an issue. <laughs> but then the boombox thing, it's like... That seems like that's gym policy. If he just takes it one at a time, it's gym <laughs> policy. Yeah. You're, Boom. You're, knock that off. Easy. <laughs> go talk. Go talk to someone in a purple shirt or whatever. <laughs> whatever, whatever color shirt they wear at your gym. Go talk to that person. And then the Creed problem, just focus on Mark Tremonti's guitar play. Right. I've been told he's a, he's a talented man and a good Christian. That's what I try to do. And then for the stalking, I would say get a gun. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't get a gun. There's gun sales are going nuts. They, they sure are. I would say uh, I don't want anyone to get guns because I don't have the money to get a gun. And mm. I'm like, I feel like I'm missing out if everyone else is getting guns. <laughs> so it's like, hey, buddy, until... <laughs> Can we wait a few months and then I can save up maybe? And then we all get guns? This isn't fair. Well, that's I want to be a militia. Guns. <laughs> that's, that's this very, guy is so, getting gun at the, at the gym. There's an element to it where it's like, I, I don't know what you should do in, in the long term, but in the day to day, you need to be going to the gym as much as this guy is. <laughs> or else the problem's just going to be mismatched. <laughs> If anything, start going to the gym more than this guy. Yeah, and then when you finally feel strong enough, go outside and yeah. kick his ass. <laughs> kick his ass. <laughs> Challenge him to a staff fight. <laughs> no, man, what, what's the anti-Creed? What, what music could this guy play outside the Creed? Guys? Oh, yeah. Hmm. 
the anti Creed, Marilyn anti- Manson. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like they're this kind of. You're I right. think you need it's, to go a different genre. You need to go completely across the color palette and paint wheel. I, I think I we say need like, I say Bette Midler. Bette Midler, that's a good one. <laughs> the polyphonic spree. <laughs> <laughs> Little Yachty. <laughs> uh, yeah, what's the happiest music? We need happy music that's actually good. Uh, Pharrell, happy. Pharrell, happy. Oh my God, that's a great one. <laughs> Everybody loves that song. <laughs> The next show, you just get 30 complaints. They're like, people keep playing Pharrell's happy. <laughs> yeah, it's this guy, this doctor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm Maybe standing we should... this guy's ass playing Creed, and he plays happy back to me. What should I do? Yeah. Maybe we should like uh, think of it like a Law & Order SVU situation, and mm-hmm. there's going to be a twist, and we're going to find out, like, like when we go to out to San Jose to interview this person, we're gonna find out like, oh man, he's not stalking this guy. This guy's trying to frame him for stalking so that he can send him to jail and lose cu- take custody of his kid or something. And then, dun 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 dun. Because wow. you gotta have a twist. <laughs> There's always a twist. I think this might be a two-part podcast. <laughs> yeah. Just going to end with To Be Continued. You should randomly do one really big budget episode <laughs> where you like, it starts off the same way, but then you're just reading the letter and you're like, so we went to Vancouver. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, <laughs> it's like really high quality footage of you flying to Vancouver. You clearly have a crew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like cereal. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what, that's what I do need to do, like a true crime thing, because yeah, that's what people like. They they certainly don't like this. <laughs> they don't like advice. No, based on how many downloads I get. <laughs> well, I think I think that people, because now with the internet, everyone has access to every. They know the answer to everything. So oh, true crime right. is like people want to know mysteries. <laughs> Yeah, you're Because right. when you look at, like, because you'll go on YouTube and all those people, like, make, who just talk into, like, camera and do, like, weird documentaries where yeah. they're, like, the rise and fall of Lindsay Lohan and Bitcoin. Like that. <laughs> it's, like, the trend is that they all love, like, random, like, some person who disappeared in Columbus, Ohio in 1996. Yeah. Why and Hollywood like, won't, won't uh, book Sean William Scott anymore? Exactly. <laughs> And it's because kids want to know mysteries. Because <laughs> everything else they can just Google. But Maybe you can't you're right. Google Maybe that. that's why like conspiracy theories are so big now. Yeah, because everyone just wants to like speculate. People like a mystery. That's why Clue yeah. is the most popular board game. That's why exactly, <laughs> and the most popular movie. <laughs> it had six different endings. <laughs> it's at the top of the box office. <laughs> <laughs> they should have spaced out Clue and every year release a different. Oh, clue, I, I do like that. You gotta sit yeah. through it. You gotta sit yeah. through ninety minutes of the same. And movie. then, and then they just redo it. Like they read the seventh year, they just do the first year again. Because by then, people are like, "What was the first ending of Clue?" <laughs> Man, yeah, there was a, like Barnum and Bailey, or one of the one of the old circus folk. Yeah. One of the ways they got their start was they just like had this crazy, like really old woman that they were like, oh, she's like 150 years old. Yeah. And you could ask her questions. She was, she was George Washington's nanny. I think that, <laughs> I think that was like the thing, actually. She was yeah. George Washington's nanny. And she was like supposed to be super old. And then all these people came out to see it. And then he went to the press and like leaked, like, he was like, yeah, I think that old lady's a fake. And then he like toured it again. And then all these people came out to be like, I think that lady's a fake. I'm like, we got to go see. <laughs> and then they went and they were like, oh, I guess she's not a fake. She looks real. And then he would like go back and do it again and be like, she's a robot. <laughs> and then, 
<laughs> so he would just basically do the same show like over and over again. <laughs> but like, it would be like if you could make a movie that was perfect in its day, and then ten years later was like really funny, ironically. <laughs> Yeah, that'd... and then like ten years later, it was culturally significant. <laughs> <laughs> and then like, man, maybe we'll see. There's still time for uh, Jack and Jill. <laughs> <laughs> Jack and Jill, this is crazy. Jack and Jill has uh, a Caitlyn Jenner when she was Bruce Jenner, which I don't know. Really. If yeah, when she was a Bruce Jenner, and wow. there's somebody else in it too that that did something. Now I can't remember who it was, so there, there's no point to the story. That's very interesting that that Bruce Jenner was in that, or Caitlyn Jenner was in that movie before like coming out publicly as like Caitlyn. Yeah, because that's like uh, that's very, that's interesting. Because some of that stuff, it's like you got to wonder if that it's the person being like, oh, I'm interested in this like gendered swap whatever movie. Or if it's just Caitlyn Jenner being like, I'll take literally any movie. <laughs> <laughs> and like, coincidentally, that's the movie. That ended up. <laughs> uh, I feel like there's there somebody else. I can't think, but it was another odd person that was in there. Adam movie. Sandler. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Adam Sandler. <laughs> twice. He said it twice. <laughs> oh. I was wondering who played the lady in that. Did you ever see that movie? I saw it in the theater. Well, isn't Al Pacino or something? Isn't Al like Pacino. Really... Oh, yeah, okay. Al Pacino isn't. He plays himself. <laughs> <laughs> does Al Pacino try to date a uh, female? Does he try to date Joe? I think he does. I think that is. <laughs> <a> part... <laughs> and uh, why Norm... do these people love Adam Sandler? Like Jack Nicholson was an anger man. Yeah. Yeah, anger man is just one of Jack Nicholson's last movies. <laughs> It's like one of his last five movies. Is yeah, it's that yeah. and uh, The Departed. The Departed. Yeah. He was going to do a movie with Kristen Wiig, but allegedly he uh, he wasn't really pulling it together in like rehearsals and stuff. Oh, really? Apparently Jack Nicholson's kind of like losing his, losing his marbles a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I believe that. <laughs> yeah. And apparently like in rehearsals, they were like, yeah, I don't think this movie's going to like work. And that that's the last I've heard of Jack Nicholson doing anything. Yeah, there the I think the last movie I saw with Jack Nicholson it was called How Do You Know? It had Owen Wilson. How do you know? That's what I thought. How do you know when you watch a bad movie? It's called How, How Do You Know. <laughs> it was Is bad. That, it was very that bad. The movie sounds like it's about love. It, yeah, it was. It was by directed by James L. Brooks. It usually uh. Is good. One but... of the best Jack Nicholson movies. <laughs> as good as it gets. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um <laughs> About Jack Nicholson kissing a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I always, for years, I like would see that move, that like cover, yeah. and then I was like, "Oh, I guess it's Jack Nicholson in a movie with him and a dog. He's hanging out with a dog." <laughs> and then is... you see the movie, and you're like, "That dog had like almost no." <laughs> but it was sure it was a catalyst for the plot, <laughs> but like, no, was no screen time, no like. No good lines. Yeah, people just like dogs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, there's that a dog, dog in this movie. I guess I'll go see it. That dog only has like two quotes on the IMDb quote section. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's wrap it up. Uh, although this has been very fun, Dan. I, I could keep it's going. Funny. We missed we and the audience missed our hilarious tilt bit. <laughs> they did. <laughs> when we were, we were discussing tilting pinball machines <laughs> and hypothetically dominoing an entire arcade. I, <laughs> and I forget what what brought that up. Uh, I think because my camera's tilted. Oh yeah. And then I said this podcast is on tilt. And you said and then, I don't know what that means, and yeah. I don't I don't really know what that means either. Yeah. But I just said I know about tilting and pinball. Yeah, and a then punk band to... should do that. When society comes back, a punk band should play at an arcade, and they should kick over all the pinballs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they're rebels. 
we're the we're the inner city cow tippers. <laughs> <laughs> He's a pinball tipper. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> you heard a pinball wizard. Yeah. <laughs> so here's our advice to this guy: go step by step. Report this guy to the gym for <laughs> being rude. <laughs> I like how it's then, and then it's like he goes to the cops to report the stalking, and he's like, and then he's like, "Well, actually, I already filled out all this information at my gym." <laughs> the cops like, "You went to the gym first? <laughs> Trent told me to go step by step." Yeah, Trent Dan, they, <laughs> they have a good time. <laughs> so go to go first. Do it step by step. Report the guy to the gym. Uh. Just get get, get, get really big. Get, oh yeah, get big. That throughout the whole thing, stay swole. <laughs> <laughs> really, with most, I bet most of the advice should just come down to get really strong. <laughs> yeah, then people won't mess with you. Yeah, become a physical dominant specimen. <laughs> and then see if you can beat beat somebody up. But if that fails. Ah, uh, call the cops. Yeah. Always frame the person you beat up. No, I think, <laughs> for real, if you are being stalked, my advice to you is write more clear emails. <laughs> right. if, you are, if you are being stalked, I definitely think uh, documentation Yeah, and uh, get, the, get the authorities involved. Exactly. I couldn't agree more, Dan. I, there you go. I hope all that cops helps. Are, all cops are bastards, but... Uh, not Olivia and Elliot on SVU. <laughs> so I guess go to the NYP, regardless of where you live, go to the NYPD, go to their busiest unit, <laughs> and ask for two people who are a fictional TV character. Yes, is Mariska Hargate here? You know who Mariska Hargate's parents are? Uh, uh, Mr. Yeah. and Mrs. Hargate. No. <laughs> Oh, you do know Jane yeah. Mansfield. Yeah, Jane Mansfield. I couldn't think and of her name. And then some like strong man, some famous strong man. A strong man. A strong man. <laughs> See, get him on the pod. <laughs> so if, if if this guy keeps working out, he could become a strong man and get yeah. somebody like Jane Mansfield. Jane Mansfield. <laughs> so there you go. A real star. <laughs> I hope that helps. We died in a car, yeah. car accident. And also, if you have, if you have, uh, if you do end up with marrying a Jane Mansfield type, and you're still worried about that stalker, have a kid as quickly as possible. That kid will become a SVU cop, and then <laughs> you know what I mean. They'll yeah. be able to help you. Problem they'll get solved, the baby. Into the system, <laughs> <laughs> and it'll put an end to all of this. Yeah. So, that's it. There you go. I hope that helps. Anything you want to plug, Dan? Uh, I got a podcast called Funny Dinner. Yeah. It's uh, listen to it if you're lonely. <laughs> I've heard some clips of it. I like it. It's, it's funny. Funny Dinner, man. All it is. I watched the one with, about. with uh, about Dom Irera. Dominic Irera. Dominic Irera. <laughs> Dominic Irera. <laughs> and isn't that crazy that, like, in, in the world of social media, some guy who like did all the voices on kids shows you grew up with and is a legend in your industry is like, I'm getting on Facebook. <laughs> I'm going to just friend everyone with a microphone in their picture. <laughs> it is, and I've never s seen Dominic spelled like No, that's that. yeah, that crazy. Yeah. Dominic Irera. <laughs> Dominic with, with an, with a K at the end. That's a very funny thing about Bobby Kelly, the comedian Bobby Kelly, yeah. is he started rebranding as Robert Kelly. Yeah. But that, he did that after R. Kelly, whose name is Robert Kelly, <laughs> was like, he, like, why are you choosing to go by Robert Kelly? And uh, yeah, also Bobby <laughs> Kelly is the better name. That's a great name. Yeah. That's, I'm, I'm going to get a friend request from Rob Roberto Kelly any day. <laughs> <laughs> So I listen to the podcast, the funny dinner. Funny dinner. If uh, you live in the Louisville area, order bread for me. I make bread. Yeah. 
I, I need to stop by. I need to come down and get some bread. <laughs> Drive two hours <laughs> each way for some bread. Right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, and you want to uh, Twitter or Instagram? I got, I, oh yeah, my Instagram, Goofy Dan Alton. Uh, I got a Twitter, but it's no one follows. I don't know if I'm bad at Twitter or if uh, I've upset the robots or yeah. if it's just not funny. But <laughs> it's it's one of those reasons for me too. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, did I get canceled? And I don't know about it, <laughs> or am I just worse at comedy than I used to be? <laughs> yeah, but you can follow me on Twitter at Trent Mabry on Instagram at Trent Mabry. Yeah, uh, yeah, follow like... Trent. <laughs> <laughs> My plugs like the... are his plugs. <laughs> <laughs> and like the podcast uh rate and review subscribe all that shit yeah. um that's it that's the show as yeah. always this is trim Avery signing off uh, yeah bye bye hey baby i hear the blues are calling toss salads and scrambled eggs mercy and maybe i seem a bit confused yeah maybe but i got you pegged <laughs> But I don't know what to do with those tossed salads and scrambled eggs. They're calling again. Scrambled eggs all over my face. What is a boy to do? Mabry has left the building.